Doberman Pinscher Top 10 Facts Doberman Pinschers are thought to be a cross between a number of dog breeds, including Rottweilers, Black and Tan Terriers, and German Pinschers. This puppy has the appearance of an aristocrat, with its elegant coat, athletic frame, and regal demeanor. They are high-energy, intelligent dogs who excel at police and military work, canine sports, and serving as family guardians and companions. Do you consider purchasing a Doberman Pinscher? In this video, you will learn everything about the top 10 facts about Doberman Pinscher, so you can find out if this dog is best for you. In the list of top 10 facts about Doberman Pinscher, at number 10, we have They are a fairly new breed. German breeders who continued Doberman's work at the end of the 19th century were more concerned with function than with appearance. They aspired to make the Doberman a super dog. They used to only breed the bravest, strongest, fastest, and toughest dogs. They were almost too successful. The breed gained a reputation for being obstinate and violent. Otto Gola, a breeder, is credited with making the Doberman more available, and the German Kennel Club approved the Doberman Pinscher as a breed in 1900. Dobermans are newer to the scene than some dogs who have been around since ancient times. The breed started to take shape in the early 1880s in Germany, making it less than 150 years old. Next on the list at number 9 we have, they were first bred by a tax collector. Once upon a time, in the late 19th century, there was a tax collector called Louis Doberman who lived in the Thuringia district of Germany's town of Apolda. His work as a money collector was risky because there were bandits in the area who could target him as he went about his rounds. Doberman was also accompanied by a companion for protection since he was also the town dog catcher. Doberman started raising dogs with the aim of creating a faithful friend and protector. The early Doberman Pinscher was the result of his breeding experiments. Next on the list at number 8 we have Ear and tail docking served a purpose. These dogs had to be ready to fight since they were bred to be personal guards. To prevent future altercations, some owners would eliminate vulnerable points such as the tail and ears which can be pulled or ripped. While most Dobermans are no longer used for combat, there are some health issues to be aware of. Doberman tails are very small and delicate and they split far more easily than the tails of other dogs. Floppy ears often make it difficult for air to flow freely through the air canals, which can lead to ear infections. To prevent potential accidents, some owners will dock these appendages. However, many people consider this procedure to be barbaric and needless, and some nations such as Australia and the United Kingdom have outlawed it. Next on the list at number 7 we have, they can be movie stars. The Doberman Gang, released in 1972, is a campy film that brings campy to the next level. The film is about six savage Dobies with a hunger for cold cash that leaves bank bone dry. As the trailer's voiceover describes, Dillinger, Bonnie, Clyde, Pretty Boy Floyd, Babyface Nelson, and Ma Barker are all dogs named after famous bank robbers. These professional dogs are able to make off with large sums of money thanks to their convincing barks and growls. Remember the fact that there were two sequels and talk of a remake as recently as 2010 if you think the idea is ridiculous. Next on the list at number 6, we have War Heroes. Kurt the Doberman was the first dog killed in World War II Battle of Guam in 1944. He went ahead of the troops to warn them about the incoming Japanese troops. Despite the fact that the courageous dog was killed by an enemy bong, his courage saved many soldiers from the same fate. Kurt was the first of 25 combat dogs to be buried in the United States Marine Corps War Dog Cemetery on the island of Guam. Kurt's bronze statue has been erected in the cemetery, along with the names of the other 24 dogs engraved on the foot. Susan Bahari, an artist, was commissioned to create it. Next on the list at number 5, we have Super Intelligent and Super Active Puppy. When you get a Doberman Pinscher, you get a super intelligent and super active puppy. You will also get a dog that is incredibly loyal and trustworthy, as well as a playful and fun-loving member of the family. They're a natural defender who won't hesitate to act if they believe the family is in danger, but their aggression isn't unjustified. 
The Dobie enjoys being around both physically and mentally. They are easy to train and learn quickly. It is difficult to keep lessons fresh and exciting for them because they learn so quickly. They can have their own opinions, but with a consistent, kind leader, they're not overly stubborn or willful. Next on the list at number 4, we have Many Factors Influence Temperament The Dobie takes a long time to mature. Until they are 3 or 4 years old, they always act like puppies. A variety of factors including temperament, including heredity, training and socialization. Puppies with a good disposition are curious and playful and they enjoy approaching people and being carried. Meeting the puppy's parents, siblings or other relatives may also be beneficial in determining what a puppy would be like as an adult. When they are young, the Dobie, like all dogs, require early socialization exposure to a variety of people, sights, sounds and experiences. Socialization ensures that your Dobie puppy develops into a well-rounded adult dog. Next on the list at number 3 we have Need a lot of exercise A suburban or country home with plenty of space for romping is ideal for the Doberman Pinscher. They need a lot of exercise on a daily basis, which can be exhausting for owners who aren't up to the task. They need a home with a secure fenced yard for their own protection as well as the safety of people and animals who might unintentionally enter their territory. They should not be left alone for long periods of time or kept as an indoor dog in the backyard. They should also not be tethered. The Doby must be a member of the family and participate in all events. Next on the list at number 2 we have Can become shy or quarrelsome Early socialization and preparation are important for the Doby. If they aren't properly socialized when they are still young, they can become shy or quarrelsome, just like any other dog. Early socialization ensures that your Doby puppy develops into a well-balanced adult dog. Fear is a common public reaction to the Doby. It's a good idea to be aware of this and keep your Doby on a leash in public areas. Finally, on the list at number 1, we have Excellent Family Pet A well-bred Doberman is an excellent family pet. He is dependable and protective of his family's children as long as they've been properly socialized and educated. Children must treat the Doby with respect and kindness and the dog will return the favor. As with any breed, teach children how to approach and touch dogs and always supervise any contact between dogs and young children to avoid biting or ear or tail pulling on either party's part. Did you like this video? If so, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you do not miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. And if you are interested in dog brain training and training methods, you should also go and check out the description. Thank you so much for watching.